I am going to bite the bullet. That is to bite the bullet. Do you know the meaning of bite the bullet? To bite the bullet is to perform a difficult task. That is to bite the bullet. If you perform or if someone perform a difficult task, that time you will say that they are biting the bullet. Do you know the meaning of bite the bullet? Bullet means isasu in Kinyarwanda. To bite no kuruma. So if you bite the bullet, kurumi isasu na urabjumbu. Upati isasu, eh? That is bite. Icho jihe, uba ujie gukora ichinu jikome, chigukome rechan. That is to bite the bullet. For example, you can say, my friend, will you finish that job on time? Eseka kazi, koga kome yu zakarangiza kujie. Yes. I will try to bite the bullet or I will bite the bullet. Bivuzengo, I will try my best to perform that task or that job, to do that job. That is to bite the bullet. To bite the bullet is our today's expression. A person, someone beat the bullet. Simple past of bite is beat, okay? Someone beat the bullet. Uvuzuti, kanaka ya jizate, ya koze, ibi shovoka, kaka, zinubo kari ga kome, javi, nubo kari ga kome, yariko, yari koze. That is to bite the bullet, to perform a difficult task, to do a very difficult job. That is to bite the bullet. Yes, good. So, dear students, uh, I, I have prepared a very wonderful lesson, a special lesson of idioms. I'm going to teach you some English idioms. I am teacher Jasper, as always. This is Palm Edutainment. This is a platform where you will learn and get grasp English language, especially grammar. Hanuza hamenyera, grammar nishi yichonjeza, amateje koyururimi. You will know a lot of expressions. Hanuza hamenyera, imvugo nishi zururimi, yichonjeza. You will get a lot of skills from this channel. Kuri yi channel, we always beseech you. Iteka turakui njinga ngo. Vanza uze, ujiri jume nyahano kuri ichano, uje ware vivindi. Ariko vanza uige. Hey, first of all, you should learn. Try to learn. If you learn something here, you are increasing your skills in English language. If you come here and get something, get a knowledge here, you are increasing something. You are stepping forward in a language. You are boosting your English level and you are increasing your listening skills. Listening. Yes, which is different from the last time. Atarawona in channel. Ichindi. If you learn here, ubona umenya mateje kwa yururimi. Good. So, ichindi no no chiyo njereyo. Ufashi nhamge, ugateri nhamgu kaza chimirongo. Aho tuku ijishiri zubungu. Uraza mura levo mucho njereza. Because that time, you are not only learning English by yourself, but also you are together with others. Others are helping you to get a lot of things in English. You are boosting your confidence in terms of communication. Uburiku za mura, confidence, changwa se, kui, kui jirichi zere, mwijanye no kufuga, icho njereza. Yes, nibusha kufuga icho njereza neza, Ghana Special Model Language Center, utugurire ibitabo jachu, ujoininge whatsappu yachu, kandu jeno kuri zoom. Kuri zoom uho na hanu heza chan. Urahu ure nawa nyeshuri wa tanduka. You are going to meet a lot of students from different places, from different countries. Awa nyeshuri, tuwaturi kume, ijoro ku ijoro. Buri mugorovu. Eh. Hey. Good. Now uh, we are going to get started with our today's idiom. What is an idiom? Idiom, abari expression, ikome ye chane, mururimi. Kuburiju mge nerurimi, abari uyiz. Wagutari zerero idiom, mge nerurima kai kubgira, niyo mabubanazi za nyano, ditabigu chang. Urujeru, umuna kubgi ngo to cost an arm and a leg. That house cost me an arm and a leg. Wako mbakwa vuzati. Chango na kubgi ngo, this car will cost you a arm and a leg. What is the meaning of this expression, of this idiom? 
To cost an arm and a, and a leg means very expensive. If something costs a arm and a leg, it means that something is very expensive. This book costs a arm and a leg. For example, you can say, this house will cost a arm and a leg. That new phone costs a arm and a leg. It costs a arm and a leg. That new phone costs a arm and a leg. It it costs a arm and a leg. To have a bigger fish to fry. In your expression, in your idiom, To have a bigger fish to fry. If you say I have a bigger fish to fry, it means that I have a lot of things to do. You give I have a bigger fish to fry. I have a lot of things to do. My friend, will you attend that meeting tomorrow? Please, please, please. I will not attend that meeting tomorrow because I have a bigger fish to fry. Idiom rero ahibera mbi niyo twita inshora mahanga mu kinyarwanda iyo utazi iyo idiom iyo utazi ibyo bintu bavuze nta nubwo wanagenekereza tekereza umuntu aravuze ngo i have a bigger fish to fry wowe uzumva ko afite ifi nyinshi ifi nini uzumva ko afite ifi nini yo gukaranga to fry no gukaranga you know kandi yakubwiye ko afite ibintu byinshi byo gukora that is an idiom ariko no muzungu yumubwiye ngo kanaka ari gutera isekuru Yes, good. She had a bigger fish to fry. Yesterday, sorry. Oh, yesterday. Yes, she had a bigger fish to fry yesterday. That's why, that's why she didn't attend the meeting. She had, uh, do you see? She had a bigger fish to fry yesterday. That's why she didn't attend the meeting. Yesterday, Yara fite byinshi byo gukora ejo hashize niyo mpamvu atitabiriye inama Good. why didn't you come to the meeting kuki utaje mu nama i didn't attend the meeting because i had a bigger fish to fry ntabwo nitabiriye inama kuko nari mfite byinshi byo gukora my friend tomorrow i will not come there ntabwo nzaza hari ahantu because i have a bigger fish to fry kubera ko mfite byinshi byo gukora so the next is this one. To kill two birds with one stone. To kill two birds with one stone. Birds. To kill two birds with one stone. Bivuze kwicha inyoni ebjiri ukoresheje ibuye rimne. Murima chenu gukore bikorwa bibiri at the same time. Are we together? Urujero ushobora kuba uri gukore chi uri no gukora nechi. Icho jihe, you are killing two birds by using one stone. To kill two birds with one stone. Example. Ushakubuguti, yesterday John was learning English while talking to me, not and while. John was learning English, not and while. John was learning English while talking to me. Ejo John yarari kuigicho njereza, arino kufuga nananji. Or while cooking. Yarari kwe gicho njereza, ndeta ari kujiraguti. Ari no guteka. So, he killed two birds with one stone. Bivuze ngo, icho jihe, yishi nyo nebjiri, akore sheje, ibu ye rimne. To kill two birds with one stone means to accomplish two things at once. To accomplish two things at once. To accomplish, ino kujiraguti. Nukujira ku, nukukori vinu, viviri. Eh? Hano vivuze, gukori vinu viviri, ukavijera ho. Ukajira kubikoro kwa viviri, uri gukoro, ukavisoza. Kandi, ukavikore la nimne. That is to kill two birds with one stone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number four, we have another idiom here, which is very important in communication. Once in a blue moon. Do you know the meaning of once in a blue moon? Something that happens once in a blue moon 
it means that it happens very rarely ichinu chigoneka once in a blue moon chiba kiboneka gache chiba riboneka rimwe once in a blue moon iyo ni idiom ni shobera mahanga once in a blue moon ni wumva muntu akubwiye ngo he only comes to visit us once in a blue moon abakubwiye ati ajaza kudusura gache gashoboka He doesn't come regularly. He comes once in a blue moon. Ntabwo ajya za buri gihe. Ntabwo ajya za nkuko tubishaka. He comes once in a blue moon. Ahubwa za gace gashoboka. That is to come once in a blue moon. They teach English once in a blue moon. Bigish cyongereza gace cyane. But here on Pan Entertainment I think we give you lessons regularly. Ariko hano kuri pan tubaha amasomo regularly. Yes, good. Re regularly. Yes. Now we give you lessons regularly, but there are some people who may come to visit you once in a blue moon. Ariko arabantu bashora kuza kugusura gake gashoboka. They eat meat once in a blue moon. Barja inyama gache gashoboka. I go there once in a blue moon. Njanja yo gache gashoboka. Rarely. Nice. To throw in a towel. To throw in a towel. Towel. To throw in a towel. Do you know the meaning of to, to throw in a towel? To throw in a towel means to quit, to cease, to stop doing something duba ngo yure ce yaho gukora ikintu runaka uzakoresha idiom uvuga ngo throw in a towel my friend are you still doing that business uracyakora ya business no 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 i threw it in a towel which means that i stopped doing it nagize ne naretse narayiretse to throw something in a towel urumba to throw no kujugunya kujugunya nyine eh that is to throw something in a towel that is to stop doing something or to quit to quit kite kuvahan kure kichinu to leave something to stop doing something that is to to throw something in a towel or to to throw in a towel finally i threw in a in a towel i hmm? finally i threw in towel yes bivuzichi finally i threw in a towel biravuga ngo byarangiye mbihagaritse are you still doing that business no 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 finally i threw in a towel or i threw it in a towel muri make ubumubwi uti iri ya business narajugunye narabyihoreye narabiretse good so you should know how to use to cost a arm and a leg in english ugomba kumenya uko bakoresha iyi idiom to cost if something costs a arm and a leg that time it is something which is very expensive uh, if uh, if you say i have a bigger fish to fry it means that you have a lot of things to do you have too many things to do number three here if you say to kill two birds with one stone here you are saying that you are accomplishing or you are trying to perform two things at once the last one Yes, the next one is once in a blue moon. If something is is happening or if something happens once in a blue moon, it is very rare. And the last one is to throw in a towel. If you throw you throw something in a towel, it means that you stop doing it, to stop doing something, to quit so doing something, to quit doing something, to stop doing something or to give up doing something. I am teacher Jasper. We are together for the next lessons. See you then and take care see you then and take care bye bye